As we wrap this up, Claire, I know you talked about key leadership moves. Is there any other sort of best advice you have for folks or even just places to start um, as they're thinking about implementing these level of, you know, this level of change? I think one of the things that I always talk to folks about when I either introduce this work um, or is that what's so exciting about this for me is that this is a solvable issue in education. And that's not always the case. Like there are a lot of factors that are um, out of the school's hands, but this is a solvable issue in education. And we there is a solution and it's becoming very clear what it is. So now we all just have to take the steps to start implementing it. And that doesn't mean it has to be this grand gesture to make the change. Just start making small moves to start shifting the direction. And that begins with looking at your data, crafting the why, and then take the next best move, right? Pick from the playbook, whether it is professional development, whether it is adding phonemic awareness to your lower grades, whether it is um, you know, working on your intervention system to coordinate it, the assessments, whatever it is, pick one and start there. But make sure you bring your staff with you and don't just make it a top down a top down situation, right? Like that that's not in my expert in in my experience that has not been successful for me it's much better when i bring everyone together along well claire we are so excited to be able to elevate your story of success and to be able to share with folks your journey and your key leadership moves and we just thank you so much for being willing to to you know participate and share this out um absolutely yeah, it's my favorite topic. Like I told you before, this is uh, this is why I get up in the morning. <laughs> you and can't have say, <laughs> We want to be open, unified. We, we we work on the pay structure. We we compensate them well. They got experience. <laughs> Listen, if you if you have been a part of a shift like this, you can write your ticket. You, you, for real, like you are in demand, and Oakland Unified is hiring. We <laughs> 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 hiring. So. Uh, now listen, I'm just saying, no, for real, though, people who go through this process that you described, they are in demand. Yes. They, like, yep. That's like a career intensifier. Mm -hmm. Dude, you go, you, you got to work to keep those folks now because now well, they have some. I was going to, that's probably one of those things you add in, like, how did you get um, people to want to do this work? We started with that. This is an investment in you. We are adding professional development and expertise to your, um, you know, so I think that was a, that is a big thing to add to teachers. Like it may be work, but this is the right kind. Man, forget all that money I wasted in graduate school, learning about five-step <laughs> yes. lesson plans and a lot, you know, look, I talk to school boards all the time. I'm like, the best thing you could do is hire a, a superintendent who either they or their team that they're coming in with. They know their yep. stuff. Yep. So find out who they're, you know, two levels down in, in, in their organization, who they're, who they're bringing with them. If they have some people like the folks you're talking about, hey, they should be on the front burner. It, it yep. is, it is, and we have to normalize it. I don't care about your degrees. I care mm -hmm. about your service, your learning orientation, and your journey to mm -hmm. serve more kids and help mm -hmm. them become literate. You can write your ticket. So it. For many right. ways, the investment that you all made in them, the letters training, the professional development, all the rest, that's a that's like a, a career um just it's, it's like their bonus. Yeah, for, <laughs> yeah, for real. For real. Yeah. yeah. So thank you for serving educators that way and empowering them both personally to serve and then also professionally. It's nothing wrong with that. They ought to have options and they may mm -hmm. want to stay right where they are. That's good too. But mm -hmm. you know what? It, it is also got to be honest about it, they're gonna be in demand. And Oakland Unified is hiring. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Most of our teachers stay here. They don't. We don't have a lot of movement here. All right, I you're know, gonna have I to try I'm really hard. hard. Yeah. Okay. It's all good. <laughs> yeah. Thank, Thank you, you so much. And if folks want to, you know, connect with you or learn more about your story, um, is there a way they can get in touch? I know you talked about 
put, putting together some kind of playbook for oh, a literacy transformation. I, I, um, I have actually written one more. already. <laughs> I, again, like, this is my, like, crazy, um, what am my, my husband called it, my manifesto. <laughs> Are you done writing mm -hmm. your manifesto yet? Um, but I have put together, I haven't finished it yet, but I have a rough draft of, of a playbook um, for educators. I'm not quite sure what to do with it yet, but um, I don't know. If, if you're interested in seeing it, I'd be happy to share and you can kind of see where I'm going with it. And then as far as people reaching out 100%, they can email um, and I'm happy to um, chat or if people want to come and visit, I think seeing Thank it in you. person is really the best. And we've had a lot of that in our county, but um, we're happy to go outside of that. That's fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank we you. really do appreciate everything, your time you spend. And thank you also for serving kids and educators. Yes. Because they deserve an opportunity to grow professionally and serve kids the way uh, that we all want to. So thank you for that. Yeah, of course. Yeah. All right.